We've been talking about lots of dangerous germs lately. Listeria in leafy greens, for example. But the most recent, a deadly brain-eating amoeba found in freshwater lakes. We learned yesterday a Guilford County man died from the rare infection. An infectious disease expert told us today there's no need to panic. The infection is exceedingly rare. And in fact, out of one million exposures, there's only probably one to two infections that occur. Dr. Wall says these organisms can be found in any warm, shallow lake. They're already in the silt at the bottom, but they're closer to the surface during hot weather because some of the water evaporates. It's important to know you can't get the infection if you swallow water or it gets in through a cut. The way you acquire the infection is water has to be introduced to the top of your, the inside of your nose. And at the top of your nose, there's a, a tiny bone that has little tiny holes in it, which is where the nerves that, you know, transmit your smell responses go through to your brain. And the amoeba can get through these holes. Symptoms include headache and fever, also confusion or dizziness. Experts say it takes just about two to three days for a victim to go into a coma. Again, it is extremely rare to get this infection. Just about 150 cases in the last 57 years nationwide. But to take an extra precaution, Dr. Wall suggests holding your nose or using nose plugs when swimming in a lake.